According to a new study, more than half of people with kidney disease are unaware of their condition, which is a big problem. Watch this video to learn about 7 high-protein foods that can help you combat proteinuria and heal your kidneys. Now, let me ask you something. Do you know what proteinuria is and how it makes your kidneys hurt? If you don't, you're not the only one. One of the main signs of kidney damage is proteinuria, or too much protein in the urine. It can cause high blood pressure, swelling, and kidney failure. But not all proteins are the same. This video will teach you which proteins are better for your kidneys. There are seven cheap, protein-rich foods that are good for your kidneys. You will also learn some easy ways to include them in your daily diet. These foods can make a big difference in the health of your kidneys. Please like, share, and subscribe for more health tips. It's time to begin. First, let's talk about what proteinuria is and why it's important. Proteinuria means that your urine has too much protein. This can happen for a number of reasons, such as an infection, inflammation, diabetes, high blood pressure, or kidney disease. Protein in the urine is both a sign and a cause of kidney damage. Your kidneys have to work harder to get rid of extra protein when you have proteinuria. This can cause scarring and inflammation. Proteinuria can also lead to other issues, like swelling, tiredness, sickness, and loss of appetite. This is why it's important to treat proteinuria right away. One way to do this is to eat foods that are high in protein. Eggs are number one. Eggs are a great way to get protein for your kidneys because they have all nine essential amino acids that your body needs to generate new cells and fix old ones. Eggs also have a lot of other healthy nutrients, like choline, biotin, selenium, and vitamin B12. These nutrients are good for your immune system, metabolism, and nervous system. But if you have protein in your urine, how many eggs can you eat in a day? The answer depends on your overall health and how well your kidneys work, but in general, you can eat one or two eggs a day. Boil or poach them instead of fry or scramble them. Also, don't add salt, cheese, or bacon to your eggs because they can make you take more sodium and saturated fat, both of which are bad for your kidneys. Instead, you can make your eggs taste better and be better for you by adding herbs, spices, or vegetables like parsley, turmeric, or spinach. Number 2. Soy Soy is the second protein-rich food that can help you fight proteinuria and help your kidneys heal. It is a protein that comes from plants and is also high in fiber, antioxidants, and phytosterogens. These are substances that can help lower your blood pressure, cholesterol, and inflammation. Also, soy is low in potassium and phosphorus, minerals that can hurt your kidneys if you already have kidney disease because they can build up in your blood. You can have up to 25 grams of soy protein per day, which is about the same as one cup of soy milk, half a cup of tofu, or a quarter cup of soy nuts. The amount you can eat each day depends on your personal taste and tolerance. It is also better for the environment and your health to choose organic and non-GMO soy products. Also, processed soy foods like soy sauce, soy burgers, and soy cheese should not be consumed because they may have additives, preservatives, and sodium that are bad for your kidneys. Third, quinoa. There are nine essential amino acids in quinoa that your body needs to stay healthy. It is a grain that doesn't have gluten and is low in potassium and sodium. But what amount is suggested for a person with proteinuria? Depending on how many calories and carbs you need, you can usually eat up to a cup of cooked quinoa every day. That's about 40 grams of protein. Sometimes quinoa is used in place of rice, pasta, or bread. It can also be added to salads, soups, or casseroles. You can also cook quinoa with milk, water, or broth. For a tasty and healthy breakfast or snack, add some nuts, seeds, or fruits. Fourth dairy products. Dairy products like milk, yogurt, cheese, and cottage cheese are good for your bones, teeth, and muscles because they are high in protein, calcium, and vitamin D. Lactose is a type of sugar that can help lower blood pressure and make your blood flow better. But if you have protein in your urine, how much dairy can you eat in a day? The answer depends on how well your kidneys work and how much phosphorus you have in your body. In general, you can have up to 30 grams of protein in one cup of milk, yogurt, or cottage cheese, or one ounce of cheese per day. 
Also, pick dairy products that are low in fat or fat-free because they have less saturated fat and calories, which are bad for your heart and waistline. Also, stay away from dairy products that are flavored or sweetened, like chocolate milk, ice cream, or yogurt with fruit. These can have extra sugar that can hurt your kidneys and raise your blood sugar. Number 5. Whey Protein Whey protein, which is made when cheese is made, is one of the best types of protein to absorb and use. A lot of branched-chain amino acids, or BCAAs, are found in them. BCAAs are needed for muscles to grow and heal. You can also feel good about whey protein because it doesn't have a lot of lactose, sodium, or potassium. The right amount depends on how much protein your body needs and how well it can handle it, but in general, you can have up to 20 grams of whey protein per day which is the same as one scoop of whey protein powder. You can drink whey protein mixed with water, milk, or juice before or after a workout, or as a snack or meal replacement. You can also add whey protein to smoothies, oatmeal, or baked goods to get more protein. You can also pick whey protein isolate, which is the purest and best form of whey protein. Stay away from whey protein concentrate, which may have more lactose fat and carbs, which are bad for your kidneys. Sixth on the list, ladyfinger. Ladyfinger, which is also called okra, has many health benefits that can help with proteinuria and kidney health. Soluble fiber, which is found in large amounts in okra, can help lower cholesterol and lower the risk of heart disease, which is good for heart health. Also, the soluble fiber in ladyfinger helps keep blood sugar levels steady, which is important for people with kidney problems because high blood sugar can make kidney damage worse. Also, ladyfinger has a lot of antioxidants, such as vitamin C and polyphenols, which help the kidneys stay healthy by lowering inflammation and oxidative stress. Which means that eating ladyfinger can help you control proteinuria and keep your kidneys working well. Jicama is number 7. It is a root vegetable that tastes slightly sweet and is also called Mexican turnip or yam bean. It has a lot of fiber, vitamins, and minerals like folate, vitamin C, and potassium. Jicama has a lot of fiber, which can help control blood sugar and make digestion better. Both of these things are important for keeping kidneys working well and lowering proteinuria. It may also help keep kidneys healthy by lowering inflammation and oxidative stress through its antioxidant properties. Jicama can be a unique way to help your kidneys stay healthy and lower protein in your urine. Lastly, adding these protein-rich foods to your diet can make a huge difference in the health of your kidneys. Each food has its own special benefits for fighting proteinuria and helping the kidneys heal. These include eggs, plant-based soy, nutrient-dense quinoa, healthy dairy options, and whey protein, which is good for muscles. But keep in mind that everyone has different needs, and it's important to talk to your doctor before making big changes to your diet. These tips are not meant to replace medical advice from a doctor. If you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to get more information on how to naturally take care of your kidneys. Making informed decisions is the first step toward improved kidney health. Do it now for a healthier tomorrow.